Good evening. So hot off the bat doing one uh, tutorial, here I've got another. Uh, this was a quest for an extension to the bow tutorial which says, can we have the uh, archer lock his angles rather than his head spinning everywhere? And this is totally fair, and it's actually a feature I thought I'd put in, but I totally forgot to, and so this is it. Um, I've written, I've got this angle variable up here just because it really helps visualize what's going on, and it's a little difficult otherwise. Uh, so this is where the magic happens. Under the aim direction and power, um, we've got a bit more logic. So like before, we rotate our little rotation block towards the mouse uh, to get the angle. But this is where that happens. If our rotation goes too low or our rotation goes too high, we lock it to a specific angle. Um, and it'll make a lot more sense the reason I've done it as a variable is just to make it, it is to make it more reusable, so it's easier to change. But in effect, what this does, it says, um, I've got a local variable on rotation, which is right now 30. So it says, if your mouse, if the rotation angle goes below 180 minus 30, which is 150, lock it at 150. Uh, I should really have kept this up here. It's okay, we like doing things professionally. So as you can see, if I go down as it gets to 150, it locks at 150 no matter how far low I go. Equally, if our rotation goes above minus 150, lock it at minus 150. Honestly, I'm a little confused why it's minus 150. Um, when I was looking at the documentation, it said that it the angles start at zero over here, go clockwise to 90, 180, 270. But no, lo and behold, when I put in this debugging, uh, lock. You can see here it's all positive, but as soon as you get to 180, suddenly it's at minus 180, and that's where it goes. So that's how you have it. 150 and minus 150. Uh, and the reason for putting it in a variable is, say we decide we want our angle to be a bit bigger. Instead of uh, 35 de 30 degree angle, up and down, so a sort of a 60 angle arc, we want it to be a 90 angle arc. So if I change lock angle to 45 degrees, what happens is, instead of going to 150, it now goes to 135, and we have a much bigger angle to deal with. And everything else works as normal. Anyway, this was just a quick one. Uh, thank you very much for the comments and questions. Um, I love learning as I love trying to teach. So keep them coming. If you enjoyed this, give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you at the next one.